forward. There's the breach. It's Landonia with that cloaking device. Looking for the kill on Vero Zyda, who swings, finds the kill on Hazel. Landonia picks up, up the kill on uh, Vero Zyda, finds a second on Mr. Tatch. And it's now just down to Hyper, who's got the Cyclone. Ten seconds left. It's enough time to get it planted. Nine seconds. But if Hyper can't find that vest and take out Landonia, no, the EMP got planted at the last second. Rand 6 is the last defender there. Then Hyper takes out Rand 6. We'll get the EMP defused. And we're going to see a third map. I'm turning all around. Oh, this could be bad. That's what Blazer needs. Pretty fine double fight like that. Blazer back in control. This is what, this is how Blazer operate. They take these rounds. Welcome back to the Breachers VR ML, everybody. I'm your host, Gibular Bob. And today we're with Blaze EU, currently number two in the EU standings. I've got uh, Rise and VR Zyda with me uh, here. Uh, how you doing, guys? Yeah, I'm doing good, thanks. Feeling good, feeling good. Prepared for the finals, yeah? <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah we got we got we got a lot of fun stuff coming up so let's just get uh right into the questions here so after 13 weeks of the regular season um you you finally made it to the end you're number two in the standings, so you get to skip that challenger cup uh how you feeling right now uh you know i'm feeling good uh i've always been a competitive player myself so to be able to play in finals and also skip the uh the nervous challenger cup um, it feels really good. Uh, obviously, 13 weeks of matches, and we've managed to, to secure uh, a very good position in the ladder. Mm -hmm. uh, second place is very good, especially with all the competition that we've had to be up against throughout the season. Uh, I'm, I'm very happy with how, how we've placed uh, after these 13 weeks and how the team has done as well to get us here. I think uh, everyone's done a very good job. Yeah, as as he's saying, we trained hard, we fought hard for this. Uh, we claimed that number two spot and kind of sealed it right in the middle of the season and we stayed there uh it's a really good seating uh and yeah we're grateful for that yeah absolutely now did you expect to be a, a top seven team when you started the the season well obviously we were here in the preseason, so mm -hmm. we we were quite high up in that i believe we came third overall uh in the third place playoff um so we did expect to stay quite high up uh, I didn't really expect the team to drop off. I knew we had the skill. I knew we had the talent to uh, be this high. But I also knew there'd be other competition in the league as well. Obviously, season one is much bigger than preseason. There's prizes up for grabs. Right. Where people are going to be playing. So the fact that we've yeah. still managed to uh, to secure such a high seeding um, compared to all the teams that are now in the league, uh, I think we've done, a, like I said, a very good job. I, I didn't expect to be this high, to be honest. So uh, we'll take second place. And... Um, yeah, I'm just very, like I said, very happy with the team, and I think we've done a very good job. Yeah, we got the second seeding, and let's see if we can make it higher in the finals. There you go. Love the love the confidence there. Uh, so, in terms of the regular season, what was? Did you have a a, a difficult moment there that was, or a big challenge? Um, I think the big challenge was because there was a lot of balancing, I guess, balancing updates mm -hmm. throughout the season, like. Early on in the season, the crouch spam nerf. Uh, uh, yeah, that was big. That came in. Um, and we were quite lucky, actually, because that didn't really bother us as much. Mm -hmm. And it kind of showed in those first couple of weeks because um, we were winning games that were like scrims and games that maybe we wouldn't have won a couple of weeks prior. Sure. Um, so as far as that goes, that, was, that wasn't too challenging. But um, I guess our bigger matches, like towards the end of the season, we started getting casted and that puts a bit more pressure on the players. But yeah. Personally, I'm fine with that. But um, I think our biggest challenge is getting used to having to be casted now for the finals and these big competitions. Like, we're not going to get any free games. Every round counts now as we go into the, uh, obviously, it's single elimination. So you could lose by one round and that's it. Your whole season's done. Yep. So I guess the biggest challenge that's coming is going to have to be dealing with the pressure. Yeah. yeah as as Rise is saying, uh, all of our casted matches were... Quite unlucky because we multiple times had technical difficulties where we have been players leaving game uh, mid mid rounds, so we had to four v five multiple times. It didn't really look good on the scores we got, yeah. But but leaving uh, but <clears throat> but dealing with the pressure and then the mental after the game, and that was that's something we've been working on. Yeah, absolutely, um, and of course. 
you know, we've do, do you have a team um, that you feel is kind of a rival here or, or that's a little more challenging than all the others? Uh, yeah, definitely. And I think Zyder will agree with me here. Uh, Velocity Esports, a uh, very good team. Mm. Uh, yeah, they're so, great players, yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, we've had a, a rivalry with them for a few weeks now, um, I guess ever since our match against them. But of and course, it's, it's it's all about mutual respect between the teams, yeah, of course. I mean, it's yeah. good that we have the rivalry because, in my opinion, it makes it a bit more exciting. Right. Uh, having a bit of competition in the league. And um, hopefully, if we see them, I think the only way we'll see them is in the grand finals. So hopefully, we'll Unless go Unless Cobra well. gets them. We'll, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go in well. Uh, we'll make it to the grand... Our first, I think it'll be our first grand finals, right? And it'll be against them. And I think Ooh. if that happens, it'll be a very good match. So obviously, I'm in quite high there, but... That's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> yeah, confidence is, is key, you know? You know, if you have that kind of mental, then I think you can go far with it. Um, and then, of course, you know, we're, we're coming up to the postseason. You're, you're trying to get to those grand finals face-off against Velocity or whoever else makes it there. Do you, what, what's, your, what's your plan going into the postseason? You, you scrimming or new, new plans, anything like that? Celebrating and scrimming, yeah, probably. Yeah, exactly. Like that. <laughs> uh, we're definitely very happy to um to secure the spot yeah. um, and any wins that we do get. Um, but we have uh, we've made ourselves a deal to uh, get as much practice as possible. Obviously, we've got the holidays coming up, so mm. we're going to take a take a little break over that. Sure. But um, throughout the finals, and Zion is not going to like me for saying this, but we have a couple of main roster absences. I'm not going to say who. Keep that confidential, but um, we're going to have to be training those substitutes who maybe don't play as much uh, for the for this big game coming up. Uh, and hopefully, the more we train them, the better they'll get. I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, Just semis will be interesting. Semis will be interesting. <laughs> yeah, but, um, we just have to get as much practice as possible. And I, I think the guys will do a great job, to be honest. They're all lovely people. And um, yeah, that's the preparation we're going to do. Just keep on scrimming until, uh, until it clicks, I guess. Okay. Uh, and then, of course, final question here, and this is optional, so if you don't want to answer this, you don't have to, but we got a prize pool of $9,000 in cash and hardware. Now, if you if you ended up winning, what would you what would you spend the money on? I'm honestly really thinking about getting the Quest 3. <laughs> <laughs> so I would usually use some money of that to, towards, uh, towards some VR accessories or the Quest 3. Mm -hmm. But I'm still not sure. I'm not sure if the tracking is going to be better. I'm not sure if I, should, if I should get the pro controllers. I'll see. I'll see. Decisions, decisions, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, well, like I said, I, I have no idea what I'd do. Because if I won like, any sum of money, I think it would be the biggest achievement that I've had in my, in my gaming career. So <laughs> I'd probably sit there, I'd look at it, I'd be like... That's crazy. <laughs> <I wouldn't laughs> really that. To be honest, to be honest, I really expect it. You're gonna know what you're gonna spend it on because you keep talking about the money nonstop, man. <laughs> you're the most, you're the most hungry, man. <laughs> it's like every tournament, guys. There's a cash prize. We gotta get it, man. <laughs> Shout out to Omnium. <laughs> Okay, well, that's going to do it for our interview uh, this afternoon. Of course, big thanks to both Rise and Zyda uh, for taking time out of their day to to answer our questions here. And of course, we do wish uh, Blaze EU good luck on all of your postseason content. But for now, thank you, thank you. that's going to do it for us over here at the VRML. I'm Gibbular Bob, and I'll see you all for the next interview.